like a little baby cat eye, like wing with liquid liner, but I'm just kind of like not feeling it today. I used this on my, what is this? The tight line, on my tight line. And um, I, yeah, I'm just gonna throw some mascara on and call it a day. And my battery is also about to die, so. So happy I made it, even with the 40 so good. Although I will say the other day when I was putting out my Christmas show. Okay, this is like how you know something is well loved. I've had this forever. And you know what? I don't even know if I can find it anymore. It's like a Burt's Bees matte lip crayon. This one specifically, I know the color is like Niagara Overlook. It is my favorite thing ever. Like it's just so comfortable, so easy to put on. I love like the warm undertones to it course my lighting again I think it's just like the fact that the clouds are going in and out let me do we need to open this window or is it gonna correct itself oh here we go here comes the sun here comes the sun <clears throat> yeah literally just my favorite thing ever and then also this summer fridays they call it a lip balm lip butter balm it's so good anyways that's the makeup Today, I feel like my hair needs just a little bit of dry shampoo. A few hours later now, and I just got back in from walking the dogs. I had it all planned today that I was gonna do this like reset with me after the new year taking down christmas and i don't know how far i'm gonna get on that to be honest get this coat off i am actually feeling a little bit under the weather my throat started to get sore yesterday and yeah i don't know like i i feel okay but i just don't want to push myself and overdo it and end up feeling worse this is the first time since like before like the friday before christmas that I've had time like to myself. And as someone who's really introverted, I like really need that time to recharge. And that's something I'm trying to like prioritize in my life this year and not feel bad about because that's the pattern that I fell into like for years and years and years was just like shaming myself for needing rest days, you know? I don't know, we'll see, I may still get to some of the stuff that I was planning on doing and maybe I'll just do it over a few days instead. We'll see how I feel, but yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and say hello. If you're watching this, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and the best New Year's. And yeah, I, I have a really good feeling about 2024, I think. So I'm excited to see where it goes, but I'm gonna, um, probably change and out of my dog walking outfit because it's a little too warm for this and try to tackle some of these to-dos. <laughs>
it is like quarter after four now. I actually feel pretty good about that little productive block I just had. Um, my sheets are in the dryer now, which is good, and the duvet is in the washer. I just finished up the kitchen tidy. That feels really good. I cannot stand a messy kitchen. It's like I get so overwhelmed and anxious if my space is super disheveled. <laughs> I feel like that's the best word to describe how our kitchen can get. And actually while I have this stuff out because I was just using it, this Mrs. Meyers snowdrop scent, ugh, it's so good. So I have the dish soap, the multi-surface spray, and I also have the hand soap here at the kitchen sink. The best scent for winter. I do really like the peppermint one too, but I found this one this year and went with it and I've really enjoyed it. And actually for my um, little se secret Santa gift that we did with my work, we had like a $20 limit. So my gift was one of the dish soaps and one of the hand soaps. And then I got these like cute matching um, dish towels, like holiday Christmassy dish towels from HomeSense, which I thought were freaking adorable. So like all of this together was just a cute little gift. I digress. I'm gonna go clop my butt on the couch for a little bit and I may read, I may play my switch, but I'm just gonna take some time to relax before prepping for dinner. We are having tacos tonight, so it is Taco Tuesday at our house and I'm so looking forward to it, but yeah, I need to go relax. So I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Something else I wanted to talk about too was like 
the new year, I always get so anxious on like New Year's Eve, around New Year's Eve, because I like, I have such mixed feelings about it because I want to feel like inspired and excited and part of me does, but then there's another part of me that gets extremely anxious that I'm not doing enough because I'm seeing everybody like posting their resets or like getting productive, like get in there January 1st and for me, I just find it so hard. So I saw more than one person yesterday post about using January to rest and recharge and I just love that idea because it's so true. If we look around at nature, everything else right now is like, it's resting, recharging and it comes back to life in the spring. Like I just don't feel this urge to be this crazy productive person, especially the first week of January because I just, I really need to recharge after the crazy, hectic Christmas holiday. That being said, I've decided that I'm taking a completely different approach to the new year. I'm using January to rest and recharge and get motivated to come back to life in the spring. Okay, so if you're in the same boat as me, comment down below because I would love to know. <laughs> Anyways, I am on my way to do some shopping and and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, I am finally home, but I'm starving. It's like three o'clock. I don't think I've eaten all day, to be honest. That is another problem of mine. I forget to eat when I'm at home. It's terrible. So I'm gonna quickly throw together like a sandwich or something, and then I have to take the doggies for a little stroll. That's the word we use instead of W-A-L-K because that word makes them way too crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna take a quick intermission for the stroll and then um, when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys what I purchased today. knows it anyways so i just got them both each a new kong because um oh they know that word yes i know but later not <laughs> right now back up hey back up thank you so their old ones are just like they needed new ones um and then the other things i got for them specifically just a pack of t-r-e-a-t-e-s which this is i know this is what he's probably smelling um, but again, that's for later, not for right now. They're cute, They're really cute. He's gonna cry for all this stuff. And then this stuff I don't think they'll necessarily think is for them because I've never really bought them stuffies before. I know that they'll want them. I want to teach them to not destroy <laughs> this kind of stuff. I wanted to buy them these for so long, not these specifically, but just like stuffies in general. And um, so not me standing in front of this section in HomeSense, Googling how to teach a dog not to destroy stuffed animals. So I'll let you know how that goes. And with all that, I'm gonna go put this away so that he doesn't distract me for this whole time. And I'll be right back. So all that stuff was from HomeSense, all the dog stuff. And um, I'm really excited about that. So then the next thing I got, I'm just gonna show you this first because it is enormous. I've been wanting a really big, like extra large basket for our blankets here in the living room. <laughs> and like, this is extra large. And I am so pumped that I finally have like a big enough basket. Just the basket that I currently have, like a lot of baskets aren't actually that spacious. So this extra large one is perfect. I got a couple of Valentine's Day goodies. These were too cute to pass up. They're like a little heart um, with little pom pom dish towels so excited and pink and red is just like my favorite thing ever right now so i am super excited they had so much stuff in there for valentine's day like the cutest and then i also could not pass these up these cute little heart slippers like adorable i'm gonna wear these even before valentine's day you can't see him but he's still sniffing everything that's not for you also not for you um, yeah, I'm gonna wear these even before Valentine's Day because I just, you know what? I'm a hopeless romantic at heart and I love love and these are so cute. 
And then I got um, a set of two, a two pack of, these are called hair care pillowcases. So they're just satin pillowcases. Um, they're like a champagne color, which I thought would be really nice. And I've been wanting to get some of these for a while now because I am trying to take better care of my hair. I've been on this whole like hair care journey and I needed some of these. I also was hoping I could find like a microfiber towel for my hair, but I did not see any there. So I might just have to order that from Amazon. And then this guy, I'm not ready to take the plunge into the Stanley world just yet. There is a Stanley cup on Amazon that's been taunting me. It's like a targeted ad on my Instagram and it's like this really beautiful like it's like between lime green and chartreuse almost, but it's so fun looking. And when I click on it, it is $119. Who is buying Stanley Cups off of Amazon in Canada for $120? That, that blows my mind. I absolutely will not spend that. So I found this little guy. I just thought this would be a good place to start to see if I even like this type of thing, but I have been wanting like a new water bottle to encourage me to stay hydrated this year because that is one of my goals. And that's everything that I got from HomeSense. So then I mentioned I really quickly had to stop in Sephora. And the reason that I went was I needed a new makeup cleansing balm. I decided to try the Milk Makeup Hydro, what is this? Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I haven't tried this one yet. I have tried the one from Fresh, um, the Green Clean. I really like that one, but I just felt like trying something new. So I decided to go with this guy. I also needed a new hyaluronic acid serum, so I just went with one from The Ordinary. The hyaluronic acid I've been using is just from Shoppers Drug Mart, so I decided to get this because I know The Ordinary products are effective but also affordable. Earlier in this video, I showed you that little eyeliner that I used to um, line like my tight line. It was a sample that I got before of the Kat Von D tattoo pencil liner. So I picked that up as well because I did really like it. I can't stand when I like put eyeliner on and it transfers to my waterline, like my lower lash line or whatever you want to call it. And this doesn't seem to do that with the sample that I've been using. So I picked up the full size. And the last thing I got was a dry brush because this year a habit that I want to start is dry brushing before the shower for exfoliation. And I think it's supposed to be good for like lymphatic drainage as well. It's gonna destroy this box because I want to see this. I don't want to ruin my nails. <laughs> also not for you. Not everything is for you, sir. Not interesting, is it? And then um, my purchase came with this free little goodie bag of skincare products, which I love. <laughs> you are just making yourself known here today. I, this is... Like, um, like it looks like there's a lot of really good little goodies in here and skincare is my favorite. So I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. And then again, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but these are in the rewards bazaar, um, like 150 point perk. And they are just like a set of two skinny silk scrunchies. I don't know how well that's picking up on the camera but I have one on my wrist here already because I've gotten these before and these are like the only hair ties I will use they're so gentle on my hair they have a really good hold like they they hold my hair in place they don't feel loose and they don't like damage my hair so I highly recommend picking those up if you ever are in Sephora I think that's everything all right well I think because I'm losing natural daylight everywhere else in the house I'm going to end this video I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know down below by either commenting or liking this video. And I guess we will see you in the next one. Bye.